Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Savannah. For those of you who are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I am a full-time reseller of clothing on the internet. I sell on Poshmark and eBay. And today I have a Goodwill outlet haul for you. It's a little dark because I'm filming this at night. You can see it's, uh, it's dark outside. But this is the only time I have to film this. So <laughs> I figured I would just film it now so I can get it up and get the stuff listed. Um, if you are not familiar with the Goodwill outlet, it is a magical, crazy place where they bring out bins of clothing and you pay by the pound. So everything at my Goodwill outlet is $1.29 a pound. I paid $55 for this stuff. So that equates to like 40 five pounds, something like that. <laughs> but um, I love going through these hauls with you guys because honestly, I forget what I buy when I thrift, usually within a couple hours. But this stuff has been sitting in my car for a couple days. So I definitely do not remember <laughs> most of the stuff that I got the other day. So I will be just as surprised and excited going through it as uh, you guys hopefully are. <laughs> And this is actually mine. I don't know how that ended up in the Goodwill outlet bin, but okay. <laughs> I am going to get started. Hopefully the lighting doesn't suck too bad. Uh, okay, so this is a pair of Lucky Brand Newith tags. These are the Ava Mid-Rise Crop Mini Boots. And they're this really pretty like navy velvet velour pant super cute and they were originally 89.50 so that's cool they were size 29 and i'll probably price these right around like 30 dollars i'll have to look at the style and see how it does i don't sell a lot of lucky brand but i will not pass it up at the bins new with tags my hair is really annoying me sorry <laughs> sorry i hate when people mess with their hair all the time but I am that person today. Um, okay, these are one of the only pairs of shoes I found, but I was very excited because it's been a very long time since my outlet has put out shoes and they were rubber banded together, which is a huge plus. So I didn't have to go searching for the match, but this is a pair of Harley Davidson boots. Let's see if I can get them apart here. Um, they are a size seven women's leather, little heeled ankle boot, super cute. And I should be able to get like 30 to $40 for these. They're in pretty good condition. I just need to polish them up a little bit, but yeah, I was very excited about those. It's not necessarily boot season, but motorcycle boots, I feel like probably would sell well right now because people are riding their motorcycles because it's warm out. Uh, okay, I think this is the only other pair of shoes I got. We'll see, there might be some other ones in here. Um, and I've never heard of this brand. It is Robert Zur. And honestly, these are interesting. The comps looked like pretty all over the place, but these are in such good condition, I figured I'd just give them a shot. They are these little like woven leather slip-on driving loafers. And they're in really great shape. So I don't know. The comps looked like they were selling for anywhere from like $30 to $60. Um, these are a size nine and they are an AA, which I think is extra narrow. So that kind of sucks, but I think they'll still sell, hopefully. <laughs> if not, they were very lightweight. So I pro probably did not um, pay that much for them. So there's not a big loss there if they don't sell for a lot. Uh, I'll definitely make money. So this is a brand I've never heard of. It's Rye, but I saw it was sold at Stitch Fix and it is a men's sweater. And the men's Stitch Fix pieces have done pretty good for me in the past. So this is the Rye Woodland Saddle Sleeve V-neck sweater, size large. So it should do pretty well. Maybe like $20. Yeah, new with tags. I'm not going to say no to that. Um, what is next? This is a cabbie. Newer 
tag. I feel like everyone always says that when they show this square tag, but it is newer and these pieces tend to sell a lot better for me than the other cabbie pieces. But it's this very wide v-neck, soft, like heathered, long sleeve top. It is a size large. And I'll probably be able to get like $25 for this, somewhere around there. Even like the cabby basic pieces like this do pretty well for me. So I like to pick them up. Oh, these are exciting. I never find a lot of Lululemon at my Goodwill outlet just because everyone that's shopping there knows what it is and they hunt it out. <laughs> um, there's a lot of people there that they get so much Lululemon and I'm like, where was all of this? Cause I barely ever find it, but I'm always happy when I do. So this is just a pair of like cropped pants. They need to be steamed, they're a little wrinkly, but they have like some ruching on the back and they're like this gray stripe pattern. They are a size six and I'll probably get like 25. Yeah, probably 25 for these. They're like a pretty short crop, so I don't think they'll go for anything crazy, but definitely happy to find them because I don't find Lulu often. Um, this, okay, I need to button it so you can get the full effect. That's like one of my pet peeves when things are not buttoned. Um, this is a anthropology skirt and it's the brand postmarked. It's a size 10 and it's this adorable green stretchy waist skirt with a raw hem. I really like the style of this. Honestly, the postmark brand from Anthropology doesn't always do that well for me, but I really like this piece. I feel like it might be newer. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up the style, but definitely trendy little midi skirt. So I think it'll do well. I'll probably price it around like 25. This is a really nice men's Under Armour cold gear fleece jacket black full zip it kind of has like the Patagonia better sweater feel to it but it's in really excellent condition so I like picking up any Under Armour at the bins it's one of my bread and butter brands mainly on eBay is where I sell it but this should do well I'll probably price it around 30 this is a pair of women's prana pants and now these are older but um, I sell a lot of Prana pants, new and old, <laughs> um, in the summertime just because people are hiking and camping and want a nice pair of like cargo pants. So these are a women's size 10 green like capri cargo pants. This back pocket is unbuttoned, but it has the buttons, don't worry. Um, but I'll probably get like 15 to 20 for these. Nothing crazy, but they cost me less than a dollar. So I like that profit. This is another Lululemon piece. It was in the same area as those little cropped pants. And I love selling these. These are the, um, oh, Swiftly. <laughs> Blanking on it because I haven't found it in so long. Um, the Swiftly short sleeve shirts. So they're like the seamless, stretchy tops. They sell very well. And this print actually might do might do well. It looks kind of like a camo. And I know people love the Lululemon camo. And the size on these is always in the inside. If I can find it. Um, <laughs> it is in the inside somewhere. Typically. All right. There we go. <laughs> uh, took me a while to find it, but it is there. It is a size eight. <laughs> And I usually get at least $30 for the t-shirts. So we'll see, maybe this print is extra special, but this probably cost me like 25 cents. So nothing but profit there. Um, I think this is the last Lululemon piece I got, but I don't really remember, so we'll see. Um, but it's, it's very bright. It's not gonna show up as bright as it really is. It's a neon green. Yeah, it's definitely not showing up as bright little tank top and I don't really love picking up their tank tops but I am not going to say no to it at the outlet so has built-in bra 
It is missing the pads in the bra though, so I'll have to note that. And it is a size six. You're not gonna be able to see that, but size six. Yeah. So I'll probably get like $20 or less for that. It's another nice bread and butter piece. It is a Nike dry fit, like space dyed Heather little half zip pullover. I like picking these up. I get like $15 for them, but um, this is a size large. I like the color and it's very lightweight. So I grabbed it. It will sell. I just sold two of those um, that I got in my garage sale haul for like $15 a piece. So that's typically what I get for them. This is so cute. <laughs> it is an LL Bean jacket. And again, this feels like the Patagonia better sweater. And I'm pretty sure my friend Ryan over on um, Jack and Ryan's channel, if you don't watch them, you definitely should. He sold one of these a couple months ago and he got like 40 or $50 for it. I don't know if I'll be able to get that much for it, but um, it's a really nice jacket and I really like the color. It's like a nice olive green and it's in great condition. It's a size large and I'm pretty positive this is a men's, but I could not leave that there. Oh, this is completely unbuttoned, but hopefully <laughs> you'll get the gist of what it looks like. This is a Theory. Ooh, yeah, I should have buttoned this before the haul. Um, it's this full like snap up button denim dress. I'm assuming it was supposed to have a belt, but obviously it does not have one anymore. I still think it'll sell. I think someone compare like another belt with it and make it fun. Let me see if I can find the size. Actually, there's some kind of tag on the interior, but oof, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we're finding this one. Anyways, <laughs> it is a denim little midi dress and hopefully I can find the size tag somewhere. <laughs> Another denim dress. Uh, this one's really cute. It is Anthropology Holding Horses, size 10. I really like this. It gives me like Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. You know that red carpet picture, like the iconic one of them in all denim. Yes, it reminds me of that. It is a pretty long, it's like a midi dress, but pretty long denim dress. It's a little back zipper. I don't know. I'll probably get like 25, 30 for it, unless it's something extra special. are you oh I was really excited about this okay um this is a smart wool one of my favorite brands to find it is almost always flawed <laughs> but um I sell it flawed even so especially when I get it from the bins but this is a really nice jacket it's kind of like a hybrid like puffer with like stretchy sleeves um but it looks like it's in really good condition I'm sure I'll find some minor flaws when I list it but <laughs> Um, as of now, I am very excited about it. it has a little logo, size small. I don't know if I said that. But if this checks out and there's no noticeable flaws, I'll probably be able to price it around 50 to 60, somewhere around there. So I'm very excited about that. All right, what are you? Oh, does it have the logo on the inside? Well, it says the website, but this is a carrots. Oh, there we go. Carrots. I really like selling this brand. It's like an equestrian horse riding brand. It sells very well for me. And this is just a short sleeve, little half zip shirt. It's very stretchy, size small. And I'll probably be able to get like 20 to $25 for this, this stuff. It sells very well, especially their riding breeches. This is so cute. Definitely not the time for it. It's currently 100 degrees in Colorado um, all week long. And if you're eight months pregnant, that's not a good time. <laughs> um, but this will sell eventually. It is an Urban Outfitters, brand new with tags. Originally $109, size medium. Jacket. 
and it has like the Sherpa collar, this plaid fleece um, shell. And yeah, it zips up. It's super cute. It's kind of like an oversized boyfriend jacket. In fact, I think this is women's, but I was gonna say it could very well be a men's, but I'm pretty sure it's just like an oversized women's jacket. This, I was so excited to find. I love anything like Aztec Southwestern patterned. And speaking of Jack and Ryan again, this might be Ryan's jacket, depending on if it fits him. I have to figure out what size it is. It doesn't have a size tag. <laughs> but he was interested in this jacket when I posted it on Instagram, so we'll see. Um, the brand is Miller Stockman for Western Living. It's definitely a vintage jacket. Look at this. It's so amazing. I love the colors on it. It's like an oversized like blanket fleece jacket. It has two buttons that are very southwestern looking. It is so stinking soft and I could not leave it behind. Honestly, if I wore a lot of colors, I would probably just keep this but I really don't wear a lot of color. I wear a lot of neutrals, so this would uh, not really fit in my wardrobe, but it will fit in someone's, maybe Ryan's, we'll see. Okay, I got this pillow and it was originally gonna be for my house, but I posted it on Instagram and there is a lady that has been desperately looking for this pillow. Um, apparently it's from Target. I don't see any tag on it in really good condition but she said she desperately needs the matching pillow for her guest room so I might sell it <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna have to sell this on Poshmark because it's just like awkwardly shaped and the shipping rate would be a lot better on Poshmark I really don't need more pillows but there it is <laughs> very cute and it's like shedding on my nose oh okay I'm not gonna sneeze so this is one of my most exciting finds and it's actually, there's some shorts inside of it. Wait to show those. Um, and this is something that someone tossed back. So clearly people are looking for different stuff at the outlet. Not everyone's looking for the same thing. This is a, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it says free people. And I think this is like a vegan leather or faux leather. It doesn't feel real, but it definitely looks real. Uh, it's like a multi-zipper large purse. You can see it's like giant. Very large. Has three compartments. Um, it also has like a little matching wristlet, which still has the plastic on the hardware. So this purse is in excellent condition. Um, I need to do some research. I think I found the style of it. And it looked like they were going for around like 65 new with tags. So that's not like incredibly high for a free people purse, but from the bins, yes. And this I would argue is new without tags. So I don't know. I'll probably just list it as excellent pre-owned condition, but very exciting find. Kind of wanted to keep it, but I definitely don't need another purse. All right, these I stuffed inside of that purse. <laughs> Um, these are a really cute pair of Levi acid washed cut off shorts and it looked like I think someone made these themselves but they are the orange tab Levi's which can sometimes be sought after and yeah these were definitely cut into shorts because it says they are supposed to be a slim fit tapered leg size 4 short but I think that's a style of pants so Anyways, they're cute. They have a nice cut off job, so I'll be able to sell them. Probably for like 20 bucks. I love finding these. Um, so I would say this is a bolo. It is Ralph Lauren denim and supply and these little like tribal Aztec print, really tribal Aztec print anything from them, but especially their sweaters. They sell very well for me. Like I'll probably be able to get 30, maybe even $40 for this. Yeah, it's a super pretty print, size large. I think it's a women's, but an exciting find nonetheless. 
Oh, this is my favorite brand to find. Even though I will say these jackets don't really sell as well as they used to, but still exciting to find at the bins. It is cool. It's a size large. I think this is a, I think it's a women's. Oh, yep, it is. Okay, so if um, the logo on these jackets is a little heart, that means it is women's. So let's see, women's jacket. I've sold so many of these, but I totally am blanking on what it's called, but it's like the Sherpa lined full zip jacket. This one, it's like a gray, kind of like a taupe-ish gray color. But I should be able to get like 35 for it. So, like I said earlier, everyone at the bins is looking for different kinds of things. A lot of my friends at the Goodwill outlet shop for vintage clothing and I am not good at selling vintage, nor does it really interest me as much as it does them. So I found a really cool jacket that I gave to one of my friends and he ended up being obsessed with it. It was a World War II um, jacket with a lot of really cool patches and stuff on it. But I gave it to him because I knew he would like it and I had no use trying to sell it. Um, but he's going to keep it for his personal collection. Anyways, long story short, he found this Arcteryx jacket as payback. He did not need to grab me anything, but um, he knew this was a brand I sold. So he picked it up and said, there you go. It is yours now. It's kind of like the law of the Goodwill outlet. If you find something that's going to be appreciated or sold better by somebody else, just give it to them. It all comes back around. Um, I'm trying to see if there's like a logo somewhere. I can't find it right now. I don't know, but this is like a little waffle fleece pullover. Oh, there we go. There's a little logo. This actually had a Goodwill tag on it, which is shocking. I'm sure this never made it onto the Goodwill floor, but anyways. I'll probably be able to get like 30 to 40 for that. So thank you, bin friend. And I hope you enjoy your jacket. Um, so this had only like a tiny little bit of tag on it. Um, but then I looked at the zipper and it said Athleta. It is this little Athleta like cropped zip up hoodie. It's a nice cream color. And I think it did have the interior tag. Yes, it does. I think it was, yeah, it's newer. It's from fall of 2019. You're not gonna be able to see that, but most Athleta pieces will have a little tag on the inside that will give you the style. So this is a newer piece and I'll hopefully be able to get like 30 bucks for it. It's pretty heavy. What is this? Okay, this is all inside out. Let's figure this out. to do oh cute you are cuter when you're not inside out okay this is a uh, express Ooh. new tags little sweater and it has like this mock neck and cold shoulders it's really cute it's like a nice like rusty color it almost looks like a dress but I think this is more of like a tunic um, originally $79. I mean, I don't know. I might send that to thread up, but if I sell it myself, I'll probably get like $25 for it. I love selling this kid's brand. They have the cutest little girl things. It is mustard pie. Look at this adorable dress. It is so ruffly. Has a little crochet hem. So stinking cute. And these sell pretty well, like $25, which is good for kids' clothing for me. Um, this is a size five. If anyone is interested, look at that little girl. Got a lot of like wintery stuff, but oh well. I'm happy for anything I can get from the bins after not being able to shop there for so long. This is a Peruvian connection, 100% alpaca. Definitely an older tag. It's a size medium. But look at how fun this sweater is. A really cool print. It's very colorful. And 
somebody is going to love it. Don't know how much I'm going to get for it. Maybe like 30 to 40 just because it's a little dated, but still super cute. Another sweater. This is Anthropology Leaf Notes. And it's a sweater with really pretty embroidery. It has kind of like a cable knit. It is a size extra small. It also has the knit on the back. Well, this was an exciting find. I remember this. Um, it is a brand I think I've only found like one time, but it is uh, 3.1 Philip Lim, a nice designer brand. This is like a cowl neck, kind of poncho sweater, little side zippers. <laughs> it's very interesting. It has like a ribbed knit. I wonder what it's made out of. It's really soft. I don't think it's cashmere though. 100% merino wool. But I don't know, this piece is really nice. I don't know how much I'm gonna get for it, but it probably retailed for like $400. So very exciting to find at the Goodwill outlet. Yeah, a lot of sweaters and jackets in this haul now that I'm looking at it, but that's okay. I will list that stuff year round. I don't save it for winter, so. Um, being in Colorado, we find a lot of wintery stuff. This is a knitted and knotted anthropology, size large, knit sweater dress. A little like fit and flare, just black, white stripe. Very adorable. I'll probably get like $30 for it. All right, just a couple more things. A pair of Adriano Goldschmied jeans. These do not do as well as they used to for me but I am not going to say no when they cost me like a dollar. So these are the legging jeans and they are size 31. Here's the back, they're like this faded mauve color, but I'm pretty sure that's how they're supposed to look. So I don't know, I'll probably get like 20 bucks. Maybe my foot is falling asleep sitting on the floor. <laughs> Whoo, okay. We'll see if I'm able to get up after this. Okay, a couple more things we can do this. This is a free people missing the size tag. Honestly, don't know if I should have grabbed it, but just a like sheer little short sleeve kind of crop top. Hopefully it has the style number it does. So if you look on the inside of free people stuff, if you see an OB number, if you pop that into Google, you'll be able to find the style, usually, which is very helpful. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> this is definitely going in the keep pile for our son that is due in like four weeks, <laughs> which is really crazy. Um, I have gotten him so much Carhartt stuff from the bins, all in this like brownish orange color, which I love. But look at this little zip up onesie with a hood, size six months, has a little Carhartt down the sleeve. This is definitely, definitely a keeper. Look at the little back pockets, how cute. Yes, this child has a lot of nice, nice clothing pieces from the bins. Uh, okay, what is this? Okay, last but certainly not least, another anthropology piece. And this is Maeve, size medium. Just a really nice black dress. Oh. Nothing like super crazy, but it does look like a newer piece. So we'll see. All right. That is everything I got from the Goodwill outlet on this trip. Um, I hope you guys are all having an amazing week and amazing week of sales and finding some cool stuff at thrift stores near you. Until next time. Bye guys.